This is Midray SV600 ventilator and we are going to give a small demonstration on how to use this machine. Always whenever we are on the machine, this is the on off button and this is the adjustable node. We have to connect the circuit and we have to hook the machine to the for calibration because the machine will always run calibration when it is on. This is the expiratory side of the machine and this is the inspiratory side of the machine. So the expiratory side is connected and I start, I just give here continue like uh, calibration is now calibration is running the initial calibration will complete within 40 seconds and only the oxygen sensor calibration will take for at least 60 seconds so it's almost getting finished the calibration now the calibration is complete for the mission and you can see all the values are passed for the mission so here there is a retry if the calibration is failed we can do the retry options otherwise we have to go for the standby options to operate the mission the screen is very simple here you can see new patients or last patients here just now i calibrated and opened the machine uh, opened the machine so always for new patients if i gave new patients the screen will come like this you see for new patients there is three options whether the patient is adult or we are using invasive or non-invasive or the patient is male or female if you've done the basic things then first thing is you have to measure the height of the patient then you have to write the height of the patient so here for example i am putting 165 so if i put 165 automatically with the parameters machine is measuring what is the ideal body weight of the patient so if you done this one basically you have to disconnect the patient and hook the hook the machine to test lung so the machine is hooked to test lung now we have to choose the modes in the in the screen itself there is various various mode options so usual mode of option in the ICU is ACVC plus that is PRVC just we can manipulate the settings with uh, sim simply just adjusting the knob if I keep uh, like here there is a, another uh, interesting thing if you if you increase or if you decrease the tidal volume you can see what is the ideal body weight how much ml per kg is delivering for the patient and what is the minute ventilation total achieved and the rate also we can manipulate all the parameter manipulation is very simple. Then if you give OK, the mission will mission settings is done for the patient. So PRVC always whenever we are fixing the mission, we will keep the airway pressure to 40 to limit the pressure to regulate the pressure. So if all the settings are done, then if you if you give uh, start ventilation, the mission will start delivering. So if we give start ventilation, this is the first screen appears on the machine and currently patient is on PRVC with the following settings. The various modes are available here like uh, ACVC, SIMV, ACVC, SIMV, APRV and there is a special mode called adaptive mandatory ventilation. This is a special mode. So all the settings can be seen here. Now if you wanted to there is a special option in the ventilator itself like if you wanted to add some mode of options 8 mode of options we can add to the screen so there is another mode also available in the ventilator so if we choose that one and give ok that modes will be added to the to the screen itself so the manipulation is easy okay now the machine is running with basics basic mode that we are usually using that is PRVC in the ICU. The alarm options like here is the alarm options. All the basic alarms are here: pressure, minute ventilation, stridal volume, and rate, rate and apnea. So the alarm can be adjusted here according to the minute ventilations. We can adjust the alarm, or all the alarm adjustment is easy and just fix it like that. That's it. Then. Uh, if you are doing suction, uh, usually like the uh, like all our ventilator, if you give suction option, it will give 100 percentage of FiO2 for two minutes. Same as there is an option for nebulization. If you hook the usual nebulizer to the machine, the machine will deliver. Like you can set the timing. If you set for 15 minutes or 15 minutes or 10 minutes, the, within the 10 minutes, the machine will machine will start giving nebulization and it will it will lower. We can see that the air is coming through the inlet. So this is how the nebulization, there, there is no requirement for separate nebulizer. 
we can hook with the machine itself okay these are the basic things now there is an option called the tools in tools there is uh, three options like if you are doing some procedure and if you wanted to give manual breath for the patient there is an option if we press it manually the machine will deliver breath now inspiratory hold is available if we give inspiratory hold continuously the plateau pressure and static compliance is measured automatically by the machine expiratory hold is also available if we measure we can measure the auto peep or intrinsic peep can be measured and total peep can be measured with the machine so this is the basic settings of the machine okay now apart from the basic settings there are some advanced settings available in the machine first one is intrinsic peak which i measured already once and the second option is alveolar like if you give this one here you can measure the p by f ratio and oxygenation index just giving the pco2 and po2 po P pco2 here example i am giving 50 and po2 for example I'm giving 80 and we can see that the oxygenation index is automatically measured and the P by F ratio is automatically measured by the machine. So uh, the next option is weaning tools and weaning parameters. The first option is occlusion pressure. We can measure the occlusion pressure and we can pressure NIF. We have a special option called weaning here. So in weaning actually this is uh, this is bit easier like you can set the pressure support here like if you set the pressure support for 12 people of 5 and uh, fio2 of uh, 40 percentage we can set the time exactly like if you wanted to give only for one hour or one hour trial if you are giving for the patient you can give for one hour and if you start the mission is went to sbt here you can see sbt spontaneous breathing trial so you can see as i am uh, pressing here the patient is uh, patient is initiating breath the breath is initiated by the way I press. So this is a special option. Like <clears throat> the preset time is 60, 60 minutes. So 60 minutes patient will be on SPT. Then automatically patient will go back to the previous mode. So this is the additional option with the SPT mode. And, uh, and the next option is recruitment maneuvers. Usually we are uh, doing the recruitment in the ventilator with uh, manipulating the uh, manipulating the ventilator settings. But here in the in this machine, we have an option called SI sustained inhalations. So here you can uh, we can set exactly what uh, what pressure we need. So if for example if I am keeping for 20, 20 pressure for twenty seconds, I choose and if I give start, you can see in the graph it's continuously it's delivering continuously yeah it's delivering and it's delivering for 20 seconds okay so this is like this so now we okay. stop the weaning trail and automatically the mission back to previous modes now from the spirometry screen we can see the pressure volume pressure volume loop here and if you wanted to see more loops it's available like flow volume pressure volume and the other option is like flow pressure so if whatever loops we wanted to see from spirometry we can see here and the the other option from other option from the machine is like values like we can see all the values at a stress at a at a stress in the big screen with the come with the pressure waveforms and if you don't want to see the values in this small there is option of big numeric so we can see the complete complete main parameters in the screen plus the plus how the lungs is functioning with the delivery of ventilator so this is this is the basic th basic things about the ventilator so that's it